thank you, thank you, everyone who has watched our channel so far as we share our journey to build in Belize. Woohoo! Uh, this is Deidre and Terry, and we are getting cozy at the key. So, as promised, I want to really show you our process and teach you along the way all the things that we are learning during our adventure to build a vacation rental property in Belize. Now, Terrence is impatient and wants me to get to the building part, but we can't talk about building before we talk about buying. So, yes, we bought a view. So let me tell you the wonderful truth. It is easy to buy in Belize. It really, really is. Many other countries, if not most of them, have stipulations about foreigners buying in their countries. Some countries, you just can't buy property or land. In Fiji, you have to be Fijian. And in other countries, the government owns the land and you can lease it or something similar to that. I even heard there is an agreement among like Caribbean nations that if you're a native of one of them, you can buy land in any of the other countries belonging to this group. I'm plain old African American, and so I've probably gotten all of those details wrong. Don't quote me. But usually there's stipulations as far as whether or not you can buy in a foreign country. But not in Belize. Belize likes foreigners. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So, here are the top 10 things you need to know about buying land in Belize. Number one. In Belize, foreigners are allowed to buy land the same as locals. There is no differentiation. You want it, you got the money for it, you can buy it. Number two, land costs on the two primary islands, at least, Ambergris Key and uh, Key Cocker. Ambergris Key being the largest of the two, and Key Cocker is smaller. I think Ambergris Key is like 28, 29 miles, and I think Key Cocker is like about nine to 12 miles. Um, so it's separated by whether or not the property is on the first row, second row, third row, or inland. Now, first row means directly on the beach. Second row is the houses across the road or opposite from those houses directly on the beach. And then third row would be the houses directly behind them or across from them depending upon how that particular street is laid out. Inland is anything else further in from those roads. Number three, when we toured Key Cocker and Ambergris Key, the prices were the same on both islands. Generally, you'll find that it's about 235,000 to 250,000 for first row houses, which have your own beach. Except the government owns the beaches and they are public, kind of. And then you'll see it's about 100,000, 200,000 for second row, 50,000 to 80,000 for third row, and around 30,000 to 50,000 for uh, the just raw land inlet. All of these are for just raw land. So, number four, the different factors that can raise or lower the prices are things like whether or not the land has been filled or you have to clear it yourself. And what do those things mean? Well, you may have to clear 
your land of trees and foliage and shrubbery and driftwood and stuff like that. You may also have to fill your land with sand, especially if you purchase land that is primarily mangroves. And the mangroves are protected because they protect the island. They keep it from deteriorating. And, um, and so if you're on the water side, you will also probably have to build your own seawall. All right, so those are the different factors that could um, make the price of the land that you're looking at vary. Number five. If you install a pier, you will have to get a permit for it. And you'll have to get that permit approved by the town council, just like you would for building a house, property, or fence, or anything else, or any other structure on that land. But the public will have access to the pier that you purchased and built from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Number six. Generally, there will be no bank loans for buying land or property. Sometimes the seller might offer a loan or finance it. Sometimes you can get uh, some kind of bank financing, but for the most part, cash only, buy it outright. Number seven, there is this weird kind of 10% or 8% kind of stamp duty tax that is a part of your closing cost. It is 10% of the purchase price, but you're not necessarily taxed on the first 10,000 or the tax for the first 10,000 gets returned to you. It, it kind, it's kind of weird, but it ends up being a little less than 10%, I believe. Um, so you need to make sure you have a really good realtor or broker who can explain it to you accurately and specifically. Which brings me to number eight. Make sure you have a really good, a really reputable realtor, broker, and or lawyer. Belize does not have a real estate industry per se. It is certainly not uh, governed and managed the way uh, the real estate industry is in the U.S. And so it's not a good idea to buy from the land owner directly. It may be a scam. And so having a really good realtor and lawyer helps navigate the ins and outs of all that is needed in buying property and belief. Number nine, title and land registry information might be some of the things that could potentially hold up your land purchase or delay it or even stall it altogether. And this is what we learned the hard way. Our size of our land on the title didn't match what was on the land registry. However, because we had a great team, it was worked out quickly and effectively and at no cost to us. All right, and number 10, property taxes are cheap, cheaper than you can even possibly Imagine, can you say $90 to $150 a year? A year, that's right. I didn't say $90,000 or $150,000. $90 to $150 a year. Woo! And that could even be Belizean dollars. We still have yet to find out for sure. So, here's the lesson for today. Lesson number two in our second video is that you need to always, always, always check whether a cost or a fee 
is in Belizean dollars. Belizean money to U.S. money is two to one. So for every two Belizean dollars, it's one U.S. dollar, all right? But most of your legal fees and your purchase price will be in U.S. dollars. So you need to check, especially if it's some um, sort of outer line fee or cost, whether or not it is Belizean dollars. But usually when you're dealing with Belize, it is in Belizean money. Woohoo! Check first, because if you come home with Belizean money if you're visiting, then you're keeping it until your next visit. All right, that is the second video for Deidre and Karen getting cozy at the key. Join us next time. See ya! Thank you.